everybody, my name is Jara. I teach people how to garden, grow food, raise backyard chickens, and now how to get started in beekeeping. So if all of those homesteading topics interest you, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I post new videos on a weekly basis. Today, I am building my first beehive box. I'm gonna be picking up a colony of bees next weekend, so I needed to make sure I had my box ready for them. I got this entire kit from Amazon. So if you wanna get the same one, you can follow the link to Amazon in the description below. The end result is really nice. It's solid good wood. It's already pre-waxed for me and it came with every single part that I need to have a functioning beehive. I'm going to show you how to put the whole thing together and discuss what every part of the beehive is for. For this project you will need a few tools. The kit comes with screws and some nails so you will need a hand drill, a hammer, and a mallet, and some scissors. One more thing, you'll also need some wood glue. Start opening up your box and pulling out each individual piece. So I set out everything to kind of match the diagram in the instruction booklet because that's just how my brain kind of works. Then you can clearly identify each piece and move smoothly through the directions. So I separated the boxes first. This is the deep box so it has four sides that are clearly bigger than the medium sized box. The larger beeswax foundation piece obviously would go with the larger box while the smaller one goes with the medium box and then those are the frames that we will build around the plastic pieces to make each individual frame that goes in the box and then here we have the inner cover the bottom board the outer cover the queen extruder and that little stick right there is the entrance reducer first we're going to build the super box and you know it's a super box because it's the one that has the logo on it and you'll see that they clearly match up and fit together perfectly once you kind of push them in a little bit and they're lined up, you'll take your mallet and just kind of pound it in to make sure everything's nice and tight. Once you've assembled the box, you're gonna screw everything in. And what's nice about this kit is they've already pre-drilled the holes for you. All right, so our deep box is ready. Next, we're gonna make the smaller box, which is the super box. If you notice, the bag of screws has some screws that are longer than others. For the super box, you're gonna put two longer screws in the middle holes, and then you're gonna use these shorter screws on the outside corner holes. All right, so our boxes are done. And just so we review, the bigger box with the logo is our deep box. And the smaller box without the logo is our super box. Let's start assembly of our frames. Your kit is going to come with 16 top bars. This is the top bar and 16 bottom bars. And then it's gonna come with 32 of these end or the side panels. Let's start with the bigger sized frames. Every single frame is going to need two of these side panels, one top bar and one bottom bar. You will notice that there are two sizes for the side panels. The larger one is for the black larger panels and the smaller one is for the sides of the yellow smaller panels. To assemble you're going to take a top bar piece. Make sure that this groove here is facing down because that's where we're going to insert this panel in here. You're going to get a little bit of wood glue and put it inside of this groove here. Let's connect one of the top panel pieces by just popping it in. Then we'll do the other side by putting some more wood glue and popping that one in. Let's get the panel and slide that in and then place it down. Then we're going to place our bottom bar on and the last step with each frame is you're going to hammer in some nails. Each frame will require four nails. This is the top bar. You're going to nail one nail right here and the other one right here. And then on the bottom bar, same thing. You're going to nail one in this corner and another one in this corner. All right, so this is what your frame should look like once complete. And this is the top here that's gonna sit inside of your box. Repeat the same steps for all of your deep box frames. Now let's build the smaller panels for the super box. You will need one panel, one top bar, one bottom bar, two of the smaller sized side panel pieces, wood glue and four nails. And you're gonna follow the same steps as the black panels. This is what it should look like when you're all done. Repeat this step until all of your panels are done. Now that we've built up all of the frames, it's time to assemble everything. We're gonna start with the bottom board first. Next is the deep box. You just set it right on top of the bottom board. Then we slide in all of the frames for the deep box. 
Then we put the queen excluder. Then we're gonna put on our honey super box. This is the medium box. Now we're gonna slide in all of the frames for our honey super or the medium box. Then we're gonna put the inner cover. And finally, we're gonna put the top cover or the telescoping cover. And the last little piece that we have here is the entrance reducer. This is optional, but I'm going to use it. So basically what it does is you place it over the entrance of the hive and it makes the entryway narrower, <laughs> which makes it easier for the guard bees inside to kind of keep watch of who's coming in and out of the hive. Because sometimes other hives that are, you know, are out in the wild will try to come in here, sneak into your hive and steal honey. So I just want to do a quick rundown of each part of the hive. The first is the top or the lid, and that simply just protects the top of the hive. Then we have the inner cover, and if you notice there's a little hole here, that helps for extra moisture to evaporate out of inside of your honey super and the brood boxes. And it also prevents the bees from propolizing the top cover. Basically what that means is bees have a tendency to seal up any little gaps and spaces. So if they notice that gap in space between the top cover and the hive, they'll seal it. And that stuff is really hard to take off. So this kind of prevents them from doing that. That way you can easily take the cover off. Then we have the honey super. This is where the bees are going to be forming the honeycomb. So this should be full of just pure honey. Then is the queen excluder. This prevents the queen bee from coming out of this box, going up into our honey super. If she gets into the honey super, she's going to lay eggs in there. And you really don't want that. You would like to be able to take out frames that are just full of honey and no eggs in there. But don't worry because the worker bees can pass through here so they can work on the honeycomb in your honey supers and they also bring food down to feed the queen bee. Then we have your deep box, also called the brood box. This is where the queen bee will stay. Now they will form comb and honey and stuff like that on here, but since the queen bee is trapped in this box, this is where she's going to also lay eggs for her new bees. You want these to be full with a mix of the eggs and the honey and everything because this is the life source of your beehive. This is where the colony lives and reproduces. The honey super that goes on top is just where the worker bees will also deposit a lot of honey on here. This is more like their storage for winter, but this is also the part that we harvest from. Now, it can be a dangerous situation if you live in a very cold climate with long winters. You might need an extra honey super so that way your colony has enough stored away food to get them through the winter. But I'm here in Florida, we barely get any cold and definitely no snow. So my bees will be fine with just one honey super. And then last we have the bottom board with your excluder. If you're gonna use that. This just picks up the hive a little bit off the floor and provides an entryway for the bees to come in and out of the hive. I do wanna mention that you can purchase beehives with eight frames like mine. I decided to go with the eight frame option or you can get a 10 frame. So that means it has 10 of these instead of just eight. Now, the only difference is, is how heavy these are when they're full of honey. I've picked up 10 frame boxes that are full of honey and they're super, super heavy. So me, being a female and doing this all on my own, I decided to go with the eight frame so that it's more lightweight when I have to pick all this up when it's full of honey. I'm definitely gonna be releasing a lot of videos about beekeeping. This is my first one, constructing the beehive, because honestly, I think it's the first step. After that, you're going to need to get all your gear and supplies and then place your order to get a colony of bees. In my case, I decided to go with a nuke or nuck, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I ordered a nuke, which is a queen bee and a lot of her worker bees, basically a, a starter colony, so to speak. And it will come in a box with a couple frames. I am picking up that box next week. So I needed to make sure that I had the beehive ready to go because as soon as I pick up that box of bees, I need to immediately transport them and install them into the hive. So like I said, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I will be doing another video about installing your nook of bees into a new hive. Now I have to say, I'm really impressed with the quality of this beehive. It came pre-waxed. That means I don't have to paint it or anything like that. This kit came with every single piece I needed to assemble a fully functioning hive. The brand is Bee Castle and I got this whole kit from Amazon. Follow the link below to Amazon in my description if you want to get the same hive and any other bee types of products that I'm using. Now I know nothing about tools, so sometimes projects are a little bit challenging for me, but this was super easy to make. I estimate this took me under one hour for sure to assemble the entire thing. So I know if somebody as novice as me can build this, so can you. 
I'm very new with beekeeping and I wanted to document my entire journey so that I can help others get started with beekeeping as well. If you have any questions, please comment below. I love to answer them. Or if you have any tips, especially for new beekeepers, please comment below. I learned just as much from you guys as you do from me. Thank you for watching.